The world, including many modern thinking Christians, do not understand why our Savior came to earth. It's obvious that many worldly people do not understand why Christ left heaven and came to earth. If they knew and cared, they surely would respond by believing and obeying the gospel. But those who are modern thinking, they don't accept the death of Christ as being essential to the salvation of fallen man. They may honor Christ for the great sacrifice that he made on the cross, but they are unwilling to preach his death as the apostles preached it. And it's tragic that men do not read or fail to understand the Bible's teaching on the death of Christ. The Apostle Peter affirmed this very strongly when he said, Christ in his own self bore our sins in his body on the tree, 1 Peter 2.24. The death of Christ was vicarious, that is, it was substitutionary. Christ bore our sins on the tree. We deserve to die because of our great sins. Jesus did not deserve to die because he had no sin, neither was there guile found in his mouth. But he took the guilt of our sins. No, those sins did not become Jesus' sins, as some who espouse Calvinism would have us to believe. But Jesus paid the price. He was the atonement or the propitiation for those sins. The Apostle Paul said it very plainly in Romans 5, verse 6, and then later in verse 10. For when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Was there no other way for fallen man to be reconciled to God? Well, friends, I'm not privy to the inner counsels of heaven. I do not know what God could have done for our salvation, but what I do know is what he has done for our salvation. And that is, by his infinite grace, he sent his only begotten son to give himself for the sins of the world. I, for one, am not concerned with what God might have done. I'm thankful to God each and every day for what he has done, for how he has brought about our plan of salvation. But is the death of Christ absolutely essential to our salvation? Are there not other ways for men to be saved? Well, the Apostle Peter provides the answer to that question he mentioned the stone which the builders had disallowed or rejected, and then he wrote, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved, Acts 4, verses 11 and 12. And as you can see from this passage, God has only one way of saving men, and that is the way of the cross. The preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but to us who are saved... It is the power of God, 1 Corinthians 1.18. When we accept the death of Christ on our behalf and obey his gospel, we become dead to sins. Now that does not mean that Christians will never sin again. It means we become dead to the love and the practice of sin. And when we believe in Christ, confess his name before men, repent of our sins, and are baptized into Christ, we become new creatures. Paul said, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. Romans 6, verses 3 through 6. We die to sin when we do what God tells us to do to become dead to sin. One of the purposes of our obeying the gospel and becoming dead to sin is that we should live unto righteousness. Now how tragic that many who accept Christ and obey the gospel turn back to the world and forsake their Lord. Friends, how can we really turn back and become unfaithful? Now you think, how else can we explain these verses from Hebrews? Take heed, brethren lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief, notice this, in departing from the living God. 
And then in Hebrews 10, 38 through 39, Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. This word perdition means destruction. Friends, it is true. Christ came and died for us. He paid the price so that we could be saved. But if we draw back and we stop serving him, then we will be lost. Friends, we want to thank you for joining us for our program today and have a blessed day.